Hello everyone, it's Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. I'm sitting inside the kitchen of a brand new 2019 Keystone Sprinter fifth wheel. This is the best selling Sprinter fifth wheel here at Paul Sherry's. And I'm gonna tell you today how you can save over $16,000. Yes, how you can save over $16,000 on this brand new 2019, it's all the new stuff that just came in, fifth wheel. So one thing we do here at Paul Sherry's is we pride ourselves being the best price in the country. And people come from all over the United States driving several hours to do business here with Paul Sherry's. And we get the question often, how comes you were able to sell said trailer or said fifth wheel or said motor home for X dollars less than my local dealer. And one way we do it is we buy at the right time. So there's times where the manufacturers, believe it or not, offer discounts to us. Maybe they have a certain quota that they need to meet before quarter end or month end, or they built too many, or maybe they built some and other dealers backed out of their orders. We can then step in, take advantage of the situation and buy them at steep discounts, and we pass those savings on to you. So we're able to sell lower than mint many if not every other dealer in the United States as a result. We have a department that does nothing but that and uh, buy from the manufacturers at the right time and we pass those savings on to you. So that's how we can save you 16, over $16,000 on this fifth wheel here alone. I'm excited to show that to you. I'm gonna turn the camera around. We'll try to go outside. It started raining as soon as I got out here. So we'll try to go outside and show you some of the stuff outside as well. But I am excited to show this 2019 Keystone Sprinter to you it's the 3551 really awesome kitchen in this 3551 so what i love about it is the open concept so let me back up even further i'm standing right at the doorway so when you walk in this fifth wheel this is what you see very open very welcoming it's a great party fifth wheel so if you're looking to have guests over for maybe some cocktails or some uh, uh, appetizers this is the spot to do it. Beautiful peninsula bar, kitchen here, seating as you can tell. And then coming back here, your appliances are all easily accessible. It has a residential uh, fan here above your Furion oven. Really creates for a nice feel. And look at all this cabinet work. You've got eight drawers there alone. All kind of spots to fit all your kitchen utensils. Coming over here to the sink, they did upgrade the countertops this year to a nice solid surface material. You can tell it's nice and thick as well. And they uh, have therefore been able to do the sunk down sink where the sink is mounted below the countertop. I personally like that. It's a lot easier to keep clean than the countertop that's mounted above or the sink that's mounted above the countertop. It's a single basin stainless steel sink, very sharp. It's coupled with this really cool faucet and it has the cutting board sink covers as well power outlets here if you do want to cook with a crock pot or something of that sort all this is paired with a stainless steel residential refrigerator this refrigerator is paired with an inverter so if you do happen to pull this down the road and travel with food in your freezer and your fridge that inverter is going to allow this refrigerator to still work on 110 power even though you're not plugged into anything and that will therefore allow you to have cold food when you get to your destination. So number two drawers there for your freezer. It's a nice feature right there. Right next to the refrigerator is a pantry. And let me see if I can do that again. Oh, it's on. So uh, that light's actually on a motion detector. It was off before I opened the door. It's on a little bit of a timer. So that's nice to have a little light in there and multiple shelvings. Uh, multiple shelves there for storage in your pantry, pantry, a nice solid door as well. Directly beside that is your theater seating. So this theater seating comes with cup holders as you can see. It does recline and it is the Thomas Paine collection of furniture which is a residential grade furniture. It's not like your typical RV furniture if you've owned an RV in the past. This is nice high quality stuff. Directly next to that is your sleeper sofa. So if you do have guests over and need some extra sleeping, excuse me, I think I might sneeze. Uh, you can actually sleep on this. That'll come out in the three sections into a sleeper sofa. And it's not your normal sleeper sofa you're used to in the hotel rooms with a big bar that's right in your back, it seems. These are really comfortable. It's four to six inches of memory foam you're sleeping on and super comfortable. You would not think it was a sleeper sofa. And then look at the television. 
a gigantic flat screen television. And right below that is a nice fireplace. That fireplace will double as a space heater. Beautiful setup. Coming around, you can come up the steps into the bathroom. Before you get there, you have a nice spot here to hang your clothes. You have a little cork board and a keyboard here. It's a nice just spot to collect your things as you walk inside the door. Control buttons here. These will control your awnings, your slide, uh, and uh, your water heater. Also has a monitor panel to tell you how full your different tanks are and things of that sort. So super nice to have. Coming up into the bathroom, you've got a couple steps. I like that they're wood steps. A lot of companies use carpeted steps and those seem to wear out even when they're brand new here on the lot. So it's nice having a solid surface step. A little bit more expensive to do it that way, but it is definitely nice to have. All right, nice bathroom here. One thing I really like about this is the shower. So the shower is plenty tall. I'm six foot, there's another three or four inches above my head. And then you've got the skylight also, so it'd give you a kind of height range in here. It's plenty tall enough. Uh, if you're you know below six five, I'd say you'd be fine. Shower in this is all, an entire one piece fiberglass shower. There's no seams at the tub or along the walls, as you can see. So this was built, uh, actually everything was built around the shower. So super nice to have. That's how they do the nicer homes nowadays. And uh, it's gonna last a long time being a one piece. Prevents any water getting between the seams and mildewing and stuff like that. You, you guys have experienced that. Plenty of storage. The stool is in here as well. Uh, plenty of room to move around in this bathroom so you could easily get changed. It is a foot flush stool which is nice to have keep your hands clean all right let's jump up to the bedroom so there's a lot to talk about up here so the bedroom is going to feature uh two slide outs up here so it's a nice big open space and the the main slide out being on the bed head of the bed is actually a king bed slide out so that's a king bed inside this uh, travel trailer which is nice to have also this uh room features its own air conditioner so you will have, you know, even on the hottest of days, you'll be able to sleep in a cool temperature climate control. And then directly across from the bed on this slide out, you've got a couple drawers for storage there. Uh, and you also have this really nice seat. So that's nice to sit down in the morning, put your shoes on, get dressed, things of that sort. And look at this floor space between the foot of the bed and the slide out. Uh, three and a half, four foot, I would say plenty of room. To get ready in the morning which is kind of hard to find in some floor plans all hardwood cabinetry uh, doors in the sprinters a nice metal uh, glided roller uh, drawers here they're the full depth drawers as well so you get to the front of the back of the drawer it's not the half drawer where only goes out that far now if you do want to uh, add a washer dryer you can take these drawers out and it's actually prepped behind there for a combo washer dryer and then behind this shut this up so there's a closet behind those glass doors and that'll be for your hanging rods and you've got a rack up here for shoes and various things like that all right so this is the inside of the keystone sprinter 3551 we will go through the price it looks like the rain has stopped so we'll check out the outside here but let's hit the price while we're inside so this is for this stock number which is 10185 again a 2019 keystone sprinter 3551 so the manufacturer states we should sell it for sixty one thousand five hundred and thirty dollars and our normal price is forty five thousand five hundred ninety dollars we have this on sale we're having a fifth wheel sale right now you can buy this particular one 10185 for 43.9 so get your pen out that's forty three thousand nine hundred dollars that's that, that's an amazing deal all right let's check out the outside now financing is available uh, you can get a really low payment on something like this you can take your term out to uh, 15 years if you desire uh, with approved credit so all right outside is truly spectacular the 2019s they changed the colors up painted the front cap really looks slick it's really going to stand out wherever you are traveling 
The Keystone Sprinter is a wide body fifth wheel, meaning it's over 100 inches wide. Your typical fifth wheel is going to be 96 inches. That's going to allow you a lot more space inside as we notice while we're in there. Also, the Keystone Sprinter is the oldest selling Keystone brand. Keystone is one of the largest manufacturers of uh, travel trailers and fifth wheels, and Sprinter is their very first brand. This comes with a three year industry exclusive Keystone warranty, which uh, they've had this warranty out for about a year now. And in my time of doing and being in this business, this is the strongest warranty provided by the manufacturer. The Keystones come with a four point leveling system and it is leveling, it's not stabilizing. You've got two points up front here and the other two points are right where they should be behind the rear wheels. So you can literally level this fifth wheel. All kind of front storage up here in what they call the basement. You can also see the construction of these Sprinter fifth wheels. Huge tubular uh, aluminum construction. Really makes for a nice solid floor when you walk inside there. Can't really experience that watching in the videos, but uh, some floors and some uh, manufacturers of campers you walk in and the floor gives on you as you're walking through. It's just how they're built. Not You won't experience that with the Sprinters really solid build has a ladder to get up there to do your roof maintenance notice the roof is rounded that'll keep the water from standing up there which is what you want coming around to the, the, the party side as some call it you have your awning nice big awning you also have an outside entertainment and kitchen here they'll feature the large dorm fridge hook up for television and a two burner top stove here this to you so that just pulls out and you've got two burners there those will be propane they did uh, add in the more ride four entry step this year the steps are super slick they're nice and stable and they're gonna make your entry into your fifth wheel much easier than what was before so if you have any questions we have a lot of RVs in stock over 400 uh, we've got quite a few fifth wheels right now as well with our fifth wheel sale so give us a call at 1-888-318-4870 uh, or you can visit us online if the phones happen to be busy or after hours and that's paulsherryrvs.com there you'll find pictures videos description pricing and all the up-to-date information right on our website so thanks for watching everyone have an awesome rest of your day let's get out let's have some fun let's enjoy some time with family